I don't know what the question is, but the answer is always sex. That is a quote by Woody Allen, and while I don't necessarily like Woody Allen, I thought that was a great quote. Hi, this is Beth at Betones.net, and this is my final video of my marriage video series, and today's topic is a hot one. It is on the topic of sex. Sex can be an area, a very volatile area in a marriage, and I know for Ray and me it has been. If you don't know my testimony already, I am a sexual abuse, a childhood sexual abuse and physical abuse survivor. And so Ray has had to walk through a minefield with me in the area of sex. And for any man, if his wife is having a lot of conflict in this area, it's going to also affect him emotionally and spiritually and mentally. So it's affected him as well. But one thing that I heard years ago at our first marriage retreat was this. Sex is spiritual warfare. And you're thinking, what? <laughs> yes, sex is spiritual warfare. It's a very important area in marriage. And the reason I'm doing this video series is I just published my new book, which is Stained Glass in Marriage, Reflections of Light and Hope by an Imperfect Wife. And I can't show you the physical cover of the book, which it is in print now, because I just sent off my proof copy to someone. And I'm about to order more. But you can order this at Amazon as an ebook, Barnes & Noble as an ebook, and also it is an imprint at CreateSpace. And you'll see that link in the video. But I wanted to talk to you about this topic of sex. It is such an important area. And one scripture I want to give to you out of 1 Corinthians is this, and it says, The marriage bed must be a place of mutuality. The husband seeking to satisfy his wife, the wife seeking to satisfy her husband. Marriage is not a place to stand up for your rights. Marriage is a decision to serve the other, whether in bed or out. Abstaining from sex is permissible for a period of time if you both agree to it, and that's a key word, if you both agree, and if it's for the purpose of prayer and fasting, but then come back together again, and that's very important because if you're not having sex on a regular, consistent basis, the enemy is going to come in and tempt both of you, and that's just human nature. And today, pornography is rampant. There's sexual temptation everywhere today in the workplace, wherever you go. Even for pastors at churches, pornography is on the internet and it is rampant. And pornography is unfaithfulness. Adultery, unfaithfulness can destroy your marriage. And if you haven't heard my testimony, be sure to read this book, Stained Glass and Marriage, Reflections of Light and Hope by an Imperfect Wife. And I also wrote my memoir, Promises in the Dark, that goes into more detail about my, mar my marriage, too. But these things can destroy your marriage. Unfaithfulness, adultery, pornography. And so you want to put that, that border, that boundary, that safe fence around your marriage so the enemy does not come in. No one is immune to temptation. I don't care how close you are to God. No one is immune to temptation. And so you need to protect your marriage by having that, that good, consistent sex. And if that's an area in your life where maybe you hate sex or you don't like it, or it causes you a lot of pain emotionally, a lot of confusion, then I would encourage you to get Christian counseling for that area and work through that. And when Ray and I went to a recent marriage retreat in Kansas City, Kansas with Roger and Maureen Traver, they said to talk about your sex life. And you think, what? But they did. They said, talk about your sex life. When you're in the middle of, of sex, pray. When you're not in bed, pray about your sex life because God wants to bless your sex life. He wants that union, that unity between you and your husband or you and your wife because it creates that emotional and spiritual bomb, bond. That bomb even, I, I'm thinking it's a bomb to the enemy. God knows it will bring you together in unity. You'll feel closer emotionally. You'll, you'll have that, that union and that unity together. So it's very important. Again, if it's an area of trouble for your marriage, like it has been for Ray and me, work through it. Pray, talk about it, and then practice a lot. That's, that's where it gets worked out in bed. Hot, passionate sex can be such a protection around your marriage. I know that when Ray and I have it, it, we feel so much closer. And you don't have all that anger and unforgiveness in between you. It, it removes all the barriers because you're naked and transparent before each other. And it brings you together. 
So I would encourage you, if this is an area in your marriage, to talk about it and to pray about it with your spouse. Sex is just one of the many hot topics in marriage that can create chaos and havoc in your marriage. The enemy is after your marriage because he's after your seed. He's after your children and your grandchildren. God is about generational transformation through the power of Jesus Christ and his blood. So whatever area of struggle you're having in your marriage, whether it's sex or finances, in-laws, jobs, careers, ministry, whatever it is, Jesus Christ is the answer. You can find out more solutions, more tips, more encouragement for you in my book, Stained Glass and Marriage, Reflections of Light and Hope by an Imperfect Wife. And I encourage you to get that at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or in print at the, at the link below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video series, and I pray I encourage and bless you. This is Beth at Betchins.net, and you have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.